Hello YouTube, my name is Asa Rufflis, and I'm here to gaze upon the glorious face of Morgan Freeman. Yes, gaze upon it. Gaze! Gaze, I say! Gaze! Okay, now we're done. Alright, so now we're back to some glorious Austrian domination, courtesy of uh, pretty much my bad military planning, as well as overall over-expecting the Iroquois to actually help me out. Apparently, I don't know what they're doing, but they're on a field trip to Mombasa for some reason. So, we're kind of fucked. <laughs> I, I think that's all there is to it. So, I think the best bet for us to, to kind of do when dealing with Austria is kind of to make peace as soon as we can and retreat back as much troops as we possibly can. That's basically it. We can't win this war. We've been unhappy for too long. The penalty has caused us to lose numerous battles. We've lost too many units, too many cannons. Our cannons don't do any damage. And like I've said beforehand, we need artillery in order to invade Austria because their cities just do way too much damage. We just need to attack them from afar. And so far, because of the, my greediness and my overall lack of direction, we I've done the opposite of that. So I should have really listened to my hunch, but instead I didn't. And now this Let's Play might pay the price for that. Anyway, no turns for peace. That's a shame. We're going to get our asses kicked. <laughs> I predict the cannon will fall as well as some units. I mean, I know I had some optimism going for me and I said, oh, we could take, definitely take the city. But so far, I don't see that happening. God, it one shot the pikemen. Oh, that's just painful. And now this Gatling gun is going to be destroyed by either the cavalry or yeah, the cavalry. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a bit pathetic, I must admit. All right, so we need to retreat back, pillage as many towns as we can, and just re um basically, I guess. Kind of in a way, what's the best way to say it? I guess reap our losses or take our losses? Take our chances? I don't know. Eh, it worked for us in the past, so why not continue it? Alright, so, when we do make peace, we will focus on more trade routes and more science and getting happiness, culture, faith, all those other good stuff. Because right now, we are doing really badly so far in terms of all those categories all right let's just get you up to volley you can go over here and then you can get just retreat you guys back please please have mercy on my units all right, right now we're treating these guys back is the best thing we can do so far and you can pillage and keep moving. Because that guy's gonna die no matter what I think. Uh, nobody can hit him. But at the same time, I don't like where he is. So, let's pillage with you. Let's move up you. And you can go over here. Alright, session is in five turns. That's good. So, we might be able to make something happen. Or we might just get fucked again. <laughs> You know what works. Alright, so the Oxford University. We could actually research all the way to military science. Yes, we can. And then just rush out Oxford. Or maybe we can rush out something else. Something better. Maybe get quick flight. Flight could actually turn the tide of battle. Hold on, let me see. Rifling, steam power. We're going to have to get steam power. How long does it take us to build the Oxford University? Five turns. Okay, so... Actually, getting a quick dynamite would actually be better. Wow, we could just research it just like that. Wow. It's amazing. We should, we should get banks, actually. Get a farm. Alright, so these ruins aren't doing anything for us. Oh, no, that's bad. Eh, whatever. Alright, so how about this? We're going to travel over here. No. Iroquois? No. No. Iroquois? No. No. I see that. I see what you're doing. I don't like it. Oh, I need that city. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, think, think, think. 500 gold. 
Oh, they have 17 to use. This is bad. Oh, and I'm hungry too. Stomach. There's no time. There's no time to be thinking about food at this situation. We have more important pressing matters to deal with. Such as the rapid expansion of the Iroquois. Or the Iroquois. Whatever. Let's see where he goes. Please north. Please north. Please north. North. Oh no, it's too late. Alright, let's get open board as well. You get to create more bombers already. Actually, if we occupy all these tiles, he can't expand anywhere. Genius. Wait, where was this? Where, where was the cannon killed? Wait a minute. I'm so confused. Oh, the Hussar is definitely going to kill off this musket man. Yep. Just as I predicted. Ah, uh, I think he was trying to come in and then possibly Salzburg or maybe a range bombardment unit was able to stop it. Eh. That sucks. That really does suck. Alright, we can stop the settler, but we're going to have to blockade the... <laughs> we have to blockade the island. Ooh, Chahoka, I love you. Alright, antiquity site has been discovered. Ooh, la la. Ooh, la 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 la. Let's see, where else, where else? Antiquity sites, ooh, right over here. That's good. Alright, so we have two antiquity sites that we can research, which is really good. Let's get more targeting. We can go over here. We can definitely move out. Just need to blockade that island. Now, what should we get first? Archaeologist? Maybe. I'm really tempted. I don't know what to get, to be honest. Right now, however, I want to definitely get a settler. So let's get a settler over here. Then over here, we can get an archaeologist. And then later down the line, we can go for possibly Opera House. Not really. A bank. We could just settle over here. Oh, we can get another antiquity site. That's really good. We should settle on the coal, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, so cannon has been killed, but that's okay. Actually, that's not okay, but I don't know what else to say. I really don't. There's something positive going on in this Let's Play. This is like the Austria Let's Play all over again. Except I think we're doing better in science. That is weird. What? Austria has the... Has the least soldiers out of everybody on the... Wow. We did a number on them. So we could have actually won if only their cities were a little bit less... Like, strong, I guess? Oh, we need to take Austria now. They have a 2 sites. That's good. It's good for us. So far, no free antiquity sites coming in for the Iroquois. They probably discovered them all. Another antiquity site, okay. Do I, does that have to be in my borders? I don't think so. Okay, here's my plan. I want to just put all of these units on the antiquity sites to, to stop, like, the Iroquois from formally trying to take them. Just kind of like a, a little plan that I have right now. Right now, I don't have any musketmen to really spare. So I'm going to send over this pikeman. We need archaeologist stats, actually. So why don't, why don't we do this? Why don't we just build archaeologists here? Yeah, we should do that. Build an archaeologist. Then, actually, not really. Don't build a public school just yet. We can hold off from the public school. We don't need education. What is education, anyway? It's that for the weak. Alright, Tangier, good. We can go back here and just heal up. Alright, so that's my plan. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it doesn't fail. So far, our religion is continuing to spread. I think we're the biggest, are we? No. Of course we're not. But that's okay. Oh, the Iroquois, thank you for sending it up. A bomber now after what? 10 or 
six or five turns of epic failure and death. Now you send us help and you kill only one unit. You don't even bombard the city. Autocratsy. Interesting. So their culture is going to lack. Or does culture help them out? Or, I mean, autocratsy help out culture. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into that. Oh dear God. Oh, thank God. Good God. The amount of damage coming out from that city is tremendous. Alright, so. Another two key sites. So, Congre Austria would help us out culturally in the game as well. Too many Native American cities. There's way too many. We need to, we need to buy nukes, actually. That's something that I need to do. How many do we have? How much gold? I can't even see. I have, like, um, a recording on right now, so... Can't really see what's going on. Can't really see what. Whoa! Wait, why? Why is this happening? Okay, this is a little bit bad. In fact, not even a little bit. This is really bad. Okay. How did I just get like an increased amount of unhappiness? I'm not sure. Uh, all right. Let's see. Ten. So how am I getting all this unhappiness thrusted onto me? Fa falling, 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 falling. Am I being influenced by someone? Civil resistance. Ah, interesting. So my culture is actually being destroyed right now. It seems about right, to be honest. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so I'm going to need to fix this happiness problem stat. Either that or I just fail this let's play. Which is another possibility. Hmm, let's see. How about this? We'll pull you back. You will be able to move back and heal. You should move back and heal as well, and then you can go over here. But more... Oh, we're going to take a lot of damage. We are going to do poor fleet. Very poorly. However, we do have allies. So we can try to trade stuff. However, that's going to take up a lot of gold. Which is normal. Alright, 25 gold per turn to avoid massive unhappiness. That's, that's a hard, very hard trade to make. But at the same time, I'm going to have to make it. Right now, this is pretty much short term. All this gold palm is going to be short term. Simply because... Oh god, that's that's not gonna work for me. I can't I can't do that. Maybe if you can give me 120 gold as well, you can compensate for my weakness. Can't do that, I'm sorry. 100? 50, 50, at least 50. Alright, whatever. We're going to have to do that. Okay, all the gold that we're losing right now is short term. Simply because we're going to get it back. We're going to get whales. Once we get whales, we'll be in a very good position. To create sites as well. However, we really do need to kind of just put ourselves in the right place of mind or just kind of fix our empire because right now we are lacking. Banks actually give us happiness, by the way, so that's something to keep in mind. Or do they? I keep forgetting what oh, what tenants I actually got. Natural wonder. Okay, so actually, this, these things give us happiness. So, Going to have to build that to Oxford University pretty soon. Alright. Austria, we need your formal surrender. Or at least allow me to surrender. Alright, so I don't see anything from that ship, which is good. Where's my settler? Oh, I think I can't build settlers while I was that unhappy. So I'm going to have to re need to rebuild him, then get an archaeologist. Do I have any settlers around? However, no, I don't. Okay, we can move forward. I'm gonna have the great prophet stay over there just to block any unnecessary settlements. Right now, this unhappiness is going to be a major problem for me later on. Let's 
be some way to like quick fix it but at the same time i'm just finding myself in a really bad position simply because the tourism is going really badly like really really badly we need to upgrade our tourism all around we right now have i think the lowest yeah we do oh no song guy does okay civil resistance that's really bad however we can't fix that right now we're being influenced by autocracy a lot so what we need to do is increase our culture gain, increase our culture overall. Just focus on that. The antiquity sites as well as everything else will counterbalance everything that's happening to us. Two unhappiness is really bad, by the way. There's no question about that. But it could be worse. Tangier loves the king, apparently. That's good. Ooh, okay, that could turn the tide of battle. Uh, where's the great artist? Please don't tell me I used him. Please don't tell me I used him. That would have been a really bad mistake on my part. Did I? Have I used them? I, I don't even know. This actually freaks me out simply because what did I do to him? Oh, this is really bad. Okay. We are getting another great rider. That's good. We need more people in here, however. So we're going to get another great artist, another great writer. We just need to get more great people. Just focus on culture and pretty much building up our population right now. Oh, you can bombard and finish them off. It's good. Okay, the Iroquois will be able to just walk right in, but I need to declare peace soon because I don't think I can kind of win this. Maybe I can let the Iroquois soak up most of the, um, the damage. And then once they soak up the damage, I can pretty much go like, Hey, I want to conquer the city now and then take the city from right under their noses. I'm not sure. I kind of feel as though if I let the Iroquois take these cities, it can be really bad for me. Right now, spreading my religion is important as well. There's the settlers. So like I said beforehand, they have been trying to expand over here. So all I have to do is block off that coal and I should be good. All right, it's going to be a messy cleanup, but it will be a fun cleanup nevertheless. Oh my god, that is so powerful for them. The Iroquois could very well win a culture victory from right under our noses, and we can't beat them. Can we beat them? Actually, we could. We could if we tried hard enough. We just need to do a little bit better. But right now, they are steamrolling. Like, holy crap, the Iroquois, man. Granted, they are losing their wars, but unfortunately, that means that I'm not going to get help when Austria is attacking me. But Austria has no units to really follow up on the invasion. See, the thing is that I can't attack Austria because of their high city damage, but they can't attack me because of my numerical advantage. So this is a little bit of an awkward situation both our nations face. Combine that also with the fact that I'm harassing his trade routes and he can't get any trade routes out of his city while I'm pretty much trading through sea with no um, concern. I'm pretty much in a good position. Um, what are you doing? Okay, go over there. Settle right on that. What is this? Oh, cargo ship into the... Well, apparently the cargo ship and the settler are combining into a super unit. The... Um, Settler ship. Oh god, I could have done something a lot better. What am I doing? Alright, so... Let's see. Bombarding these horsemen. I know they're not technically horsemen, but... I mean, they're men on horses. You can't get any more horsemen than that. Lancers. We don't need lancers. Lancers are for the weak. Alright, so Great Prophet has arrived on Carthage. We can convert the city. And once we convert the city, we should be in a good position. Now let's lock down this island. Keep it away from any pesky Iroquois hands. Good! Finally, the Iroquois are helping. That's so nice of them. Such a grand day indeed. Now the 
Australians are fighting back. You know, it's actually good that we're whittling down the Iroquois inadvertently because that means that their army will be weaker. And the weaker their army is, the less domination they have over the map. I kind of want the Iroquois to be conquered, to be honest. I don't really like them. I don't like their position they hold, and I, I just, I want them dead. I'm an asshole like that. You know, we don't have to declare peace with Austria. We could just hold them here and kind of whittle them down. In fact, whittling them down is actually more important simply because then we'll be able to just eliminate their forces slowly and slowly. Then once we get artillery, then bam, they're just dead. They can't fight against our our kind of artillery spam that we have when we do have it because it's just going to be too much for them. Our cavalry will also be better. Cavalry? Cavalry? Cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah, there we go. Sounds a lot better. A lot more masculine.